हेलो एवरीबॉडी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी गोन टू डिस्कस बिट्सैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी कट ऑफ द लॉर ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इन बिट्सैट एंड पीपल आर वॉन्टेड टू नो वॉट आर द कट ऑफ दिस ईयर एंड दिस ईयर देर आर लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग डेवलपमेंट लॉट ऑफ चेंजेस दिस ईयर सो वी गोन टू डिस्कस दैट वी आर ऑल्सो गोन टू डिस्कस the trends from 2017 onwards how it was in 2017 2018 2019 and 20 we will also look at all the three campuses pilani goa and hyderabad and finally we will see what is the least marks that you should get in bitsat to get an engineering branch in pilani in goa and hyderabad let's start off with the pilani campus first now if you look at pilani now let's let's concentrate on this though i have given the other ones let's concentrate on this 2020 if you start with be chemical last year it was 2000 uh, 281 uh, this was the cut off mark last year 281 as you all know this 281 is out of actually 450 uh, 450 marks a maximum of 450 marks in fact if you in, add the bonus marks you must be aware that if you answer all the 150 questions in bitsat you will be given another 12 questions and these 12 questions would amount to another 36 marks so totally if you include the bonus marks so we are talking about a maximum of 486 so uh, as far as chemical was concerned 2019 281 was the cut off this year just look at it 270 only there is a drop off actually 11 marks in uh, uh, b chemical if you look at civil civil is 269 last year 2019 this year it is 254 uh, uh, electronics electrical and electronics last year 341 this year it is 333 b mechanical 313 last year 298 this year b manufacturing 255 last year 253 this particular year and computer science everybody is interested in computer science computer science 383 last year 372 this year uh, electronics and instrumentation last year 322 that is 2019 322 328 and 2020 323 msc chemistry if you look at the dual degree programs you all know that in bits you have dual degree programs also so yeah, msc chemistry last year was 269 this year it is 258 uh, and msc e economics uh, which is always in great demand among the dual degree programs msc economics is in great demand so last year it was 315 this year it is 304 similarly msc math last year it was 297 this year it is 286 and msc physics last year 290 and this year 283 so uh, what we see is that across the board all branches there was a general decline in the cut off marks this year this year has been a strange year as you know 2020 uh, because of the corona pandemic and all that we do not know whether this trend will hold for the next year but all the same we can still see certain trends uh, if you see from 2017 onwards there are certain branches where the cut offs have been declining let's look at chemistry for example chemistry 2017 was 306 2018 it was 280 there is a decline 2019 almost there 281 it was it was kind of steady and then 2020 270 let's look at civil now what happened to civil 294 in 2017 274 in 2018 there was a radical um, dip there and then 2019 it fell fell further and in 2020 it has fallen even further 254 look at uh, mechanical 334 313 steady at 313 298 manufacturing 288 270 255 253 so one thing we can make out is that among non circuit and non csc branches there's been a general decline in the cut offs let's look at csc csc on the other hand 382 in 2017 378 in uh, in 2018 perhaps the question bank that year maybe the questions were a little tougher so 378 then in 2019 it 
went back to 383 and again this year there is a decline 372 this year we cannot draw any broad generalization because of the corona situation all right but computer science you can see that there is not there is not this kind of the cutoff sir so non circuit branches non csc non circuit branches there has been a decline um, circuit branches and csc there is no decline like for example you take e and e that is electrical electronics 355 there was a drop in 2018 that there was a drop in all branches but again in 2019 it has gone up 341 this year again there is a drop okay so this is what is happening in uh, pilani uh, the reason why there is a drop in non circuit non computer science branches could be many but one of the things that i uh, i can think of actually i can think of two things one is that the number of iits have increased so there are a lot of uh, tier 2 and tier 3 iits now in addition new triple iits have gained a lot of popularity the triple iits at delhi triple it bangalore and of course triple it hyderabad so they also appeal to the same kind of audience because all the triple iits are private there's no reservation so and anybody who's interested in computer science and it doesn't make to pilani instead of getting into uh, non circuit non csc branches they may as well go on to one of the triple iits because as you all know that bits is very expensive uh, approximately we are talking about 6 lakhs per annum so four years you are talking about 24 lakhs and if you are talking about uh, a five year program we are talking about 30 lakhs so rather than investing that kind of money and uh, getting a core placement which may not be too very attractive it, the student may be better off getting into a triple IT and getting into a CS and IT placement maybe that is one of the reasons why non-CS non-circuit branches, the cutoffs have been falling. Now, this trend is not limited to Pilani alone. Let us look at uh, uh, Goa. In Goa also, this year, let's take 2020, compared to last year, 254, 248, uh, electronics and electrical, 310, 306, MEC, 280, 269, CSE, 352, 347. So across the board, there is a decline on cutoffs this year. Also, the same trends that I was talking about, 2017 to 2020, if you look at chemical, you see chemical, 277, 276, 260, 254, 248, general decline. On the other hand, if you look at uh, electronics and electrical, 320, 308, 310, again, there was an increase. Of course, this year, again, there's a decrease. Mechanical, general decline. All right. CSE, again, like uh, electrical and electronics, 350, 347, 352, there's an increase. And again, there was a fall this year. Uh, electronics and instrumentation, like any other circuit branch, 301, 289, a decline, 294, a slight hike, and then 293. ECE, 322, 314, a slight hike in 322 in, two, uh, in 2019, and again, 320. So this is what is happening in Goa. Now let us look at Hyderabad. In Hyderabad, what has happened in Hyderabad? Same trends are visible in Hyderabad also. If you look at 2020 versus 2019, 252 to 240, BE chemical, BE civil, 254 to 240, BE electrical and electronics, 308, 300, uh, BE mechanical, 275 to 260, computer science, 342 to 336, and this trend goes on. And if you look at the non-circuit, non-CSC branches, chemical, if you see, 272, 257, 252, 240. General decline. Civil, 273, 258, 254, 240. Again, general decline. Electrical and electronics, on the other hand, 310, 298, slight hike in uh, 2019, 308, and 300. Look at mechanical, 297, 275, 275, 260. But CSE again, 339, 334, again, a slight hike, 342, 336 again. Okay, so this is what is happening in terms of uh, the cutoffs over the years. Now, if you see among the three, that is Pilani, Goa, and Hyderabad, if you want to compare these, uh, where the cutoffs are higher, 
let us look at uh, the comparison for some select branches. Let's look at CSE. In CSE, if you see, Pilani, 372 this year, 347 in Goa, and 336 in Hyderabad. 2017 also, 382, 350 hours. The change in cutoffs or the cutoffs for each of the campuses, if you see, they are consistent. Uh, three, uh, Pilani followed by Goa, followed by Hyderabad. All the years, all the years, if you see, Pilani, obviously, it is the oldest and the best among the campuses. But interestingly, Goa and Hyderabad, uh, the, the, the place, the pecking order remains the same across the years. And this is interesting because other Hyderabad-based institutes, notably, say, for example, um, Triple IIT Hyderabad. Triple IIT Hyderabad has gained a lot of popularity. Also, IIT Hyderabad, among the tier two, uh, or the second generation, I won't say tier two, it is the second generation IITs. Among the second generation IITs, IIT Hyderabad is the top. In fact, it is competing, and in fact, in a lot of places, is better than um, IIT Guwahati I mean, in terms of people preferring Hyderabad over Guwahati. But similar thing has not happened in the case of BITS. Okay, now let us look at mechanical. Mechanical also, we have the same picking order. Uh, Pilani followed by Goa, followed by Hyderabad. This was there in 2017, also in 2020. 298, 269, 260. Then ECO, if you look at, uh, if you look at MSE economics, same difference. 323 versus 290 versus 279 in 2017. 304. 290 versus 281. If anything, what we can make, make out is that the uh, cutoffs are coming closer. Of course, there's a difference, but the difference is closing or it is narrowing. If you see this year, 323 in 2017, 323 versus 290 versus 279. The spread was, was larger. But if you see here, it, they're closely bunched. 304 to 281. So if anything, they are coming a little closer. Okay. Now, one thing which uh, you would be interested in is that in 2020, what was the lowest cutoff across branches? I'm only looking at uh, uh, engineering branches. I'm not looking at, say, for example, B farm. Uh, Bitspelani also offers B farm, but I'm not looking at that. If you look at the engineering branches, the lowest that you had to get uh, to get into some branch in BITS Hyderabad was uh, MSC Chem 240. Similarly, BE Chem also 240. So if you had got 240 out of 450, you could get into BITS Hyderabad campus. For, for Goa, let's look at Goa. Goa also, uh, you have MSC Chem at 249 and uh, BE Chem at 248. So 248. If you got 248 out of 450, you could get in. You could, you could get a seat in uh, Bits Goa campus. Let's look at Pilani campus. In the case of Pilani, uh, your MSc Chem was at 258, and uh, B Civil was at 254. So, and in fact, B Manufacturing is 253. So, 253 out of 450, if you get, you would have got some branch in uh, the Pilani campus. All in all, BITS is a fantastic institution, great placements, very, very student friendly, a lot of academic freedom out there. For example, attendance is not compulsory. Uh, the unique thing about uh, BITS is the uh, practice school concept where the students get a lot of practical exposure. Uh, the other distinguishing feature of uh, BITS is the very strong alumni network, which is spread all across the globe. So a lot of positive factors going for BITS. So any of you planning to get into a very good engineering institution, you should be having BITS in your portfolio. Also, the kind of questions that you get in BITS are slightly easier than JE main. However, the pace as well as accuracy are important because you got to answer 150 questions in 180 minutes versus 75 questions in 180 minutes in the case of me. So here, in the case of BITSAC, speed is important, accuracy is important. Also, there are about 25 questions in English and logical reasoning. So that is another distinguishing characteristic of BITSAC. So for a motivated student, 
uh, who wants to get into a reasonably good institution, Bits provides a fantastic option. And if you see the cutoffs this year, they are very, very attractive. So those of you who have not started preparation yet, want to get into a great engineering college, I think you should be looking at Bits very, very seriously. All right. On that note, let's end this video here. In my next video, we're going to discuss JE Advanced.